always, thank you for watching. Uh, today we've been called by a customer after we've had a lot of heavy rain overnight. Uh, we've had a lot of flooded roadways. Uh, there was actually a power line over a highway and a box truck delivery guy was trying to make a delivery. Had to detour off of the highway onto a county road. The county road was flooded and uh, he accidentally went off too far and found the roadside ditch on the county road. Uh, Talon and I are headed down. Normally we wouldn't do this, but we're sending both the uh, rotator and the Vulcan V70. Uh, in my mind, a very simple reason. I don't know how far down the road he is. Uh, and if for some reason, we're gonna to try to do the recovery with just the V70. If the water is running, if it's swift moving water, the box truck will sit until the water subsides. Uh, if uh, the water is calm and it's stagnant, uh, we'll probably attempt the recovery. Right now what I'm thinking is we'll use the V70 because it's got high ground clearance and we'll get as close as safely possible. Uh, I do know that this gravel road, after talking to the Sheriff's Department, it is a gravel road. Uh, so the base isn't going to be solid like it would be on a uh, paved road. But we'll get the V70 as close as possible. And I want this truck there in case it's so far down the county road that we may have to uh, do a chain down the road or in case the V70 gets stuck. Uh, I don't want to risk our V70 getting stuck and being stuck in the water for a, a long amount of time. I want this truck there to be able to get to him ASAP because I don't want our, our truck sitting in uh, standing water. Uh, do we need two trucks? Probably not. The box truck is loaded, it is leaning. Uh, I had the driver send me some pictures of it. Uh, but anyway, that's where we're at for now. We're headed that direction, and apparently we've got another uh, heavy winch out. Somebody stuck. Don't have all the details on that yet, but uh, one job at a time. some there were reports that this roundabout had water on it earlier or overnight we've had a lot of rain recently and the ground is saturated it doesn't have much place to go around here
really want to get this truck off on that gravel lane because it's so heavy. And it doesn't have the ground clearance that that truck does. Pointed behind me because Talon's driving in the V70 behind me.
all back down. Looks like the water has receded some. Go ahead and you drive down. That one? That's him right there. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I see him yeah. Go ahead and drive down as far as you feel comfortable with. And I'm on a back down. That way in case we have to, uh, you get on the front and me get on the back and pick him up and swing him in. Is he loaded? Got some on it, yeah. What? But don't, don't go any further than you feel safe with.
pictures, it appears as though the water has receded.
I can't tell how deep it is. Talon made it through with no problem, but like I said, that truck's got a lot higher ground clearance. I'm gonna stop on this little island before bouncing off in there. It's still a pretty good ways behind us. Today we're going swimming. Oh my gosh. Don't you know it ain't a boat? I tried. <laughs> Woo! That little car run me off. Huh? That little car run me off. No kidding. Yeah, he's coming this way, right down the middle. And so I kept pointing over and he wouldn't get over, so I tried to go around him and see where I'm at. Are you loaded? I got three little skids in there. Oh, okay. Well, that makes it easier. The problem is, once you get to about the center of this hood, it's a six foot drop off. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've been down here before. Yeah, I was going down the highway there. I come right down there. There's a pole. The line Power line down, down, yep. So, a top stop, he was like, oh, no, you just go right up there and make a left and another left. You just go right down this little grass road, it's no problem. <laughs> I said, well, how far I made it. <laughs> At least she ain't hurt or nothing. No, I'm That's all that matters. Man. That's what it's slow. Man. Yeah. I do better, you know what I mean? Yep. I figured, well, it ain't up to my wheel hub, so we'll keep right. trucking. <laughs> That's what I thought. It's a little big car with you, know. I, just, I came this way just a little much, and then there it went. My brake shut off, and it wouldn't start my stuff. Yeah. put these on but Sweaters on. Okay, see what we got.
water still draining oh yeah it's gone down quite a bit from the pictures it was up to the uh, bumper on the or almost to the tail lights on the truck I can probably drive through part of this but I'd much rather walk it first feels good and solid Well, that wasn't that deep. You can get through that, no problem. Oh, it's hard. Or uh, overhead lines. Probably drive down here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It gets a little deeper there, doesn't it? Welcome to the swimming pool. Yeah, it's, it's the deepest part, it seems like. It is. It's not as bad as what pictures showed, though. It gets a little deeper up there. Do I? It gets a little bit deeper up there. Does it? Yep. Well, from the pictures, the water's gone down, so at least you've been able to keep it going. Yeah. There ain't no good hookups. Nowhere? No. The frame. That's it. Frame and wheels. <coughs> oh, the Hino. Yeah. It's a... Uh, he no come out of the ditch without help. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, I just, I, I have to go swimming place. with scuba gear to get to the low side, so I, no, I mean, the high side, I go, off, go high, go, go low off the bed of the truck, right, this side right here. <laughs> now if I see a snake, I'm gone. All right. Come on over. Kicking up water at me. Oh, she's down good. Probably ought to back up a little bit and get that front end over quick. Make sure he doesn't drop off the edge. Turn hard, turn hard, turn hard. There you go. All right. Straight back at me.
Do you have extra gloves up there? Do you have extra gloves? I ran off and left mine. Not that it's really going to matter. They're going to get soaking wet. Ah, eh, never mind. Don't worry about it. I got my good waterproof gloves back there, but I left them. I really don't want to walk back and get them. getting our stuff underwater but large medium see if there's something that'll fit my hand a little better there's a large and a large Could grab the wheel itself, but nah, go to the axle. That'll help. That'll help pull the tire this way too. Eek. Didn't know we got to go to a water park today, huh? Uh. Didn't know we were going to get to go to a water park today, did you? Ain't no way to do it except to get wet, my friend. Yeah. Unless you want me in there. Yeah, okay. I got the gear on. <laughs> Save it a phone. There you go. on the other side, ain't it? Thank <laughs> you. 
ain't feeling good. <laughs> Snugging her up. Okay, release your brakes. Turn your wheel to the left. There you go. And just let him no, let him do the pull. She's all but home free now. Do what, sir? I've been in there for two and a half hours. Awesome. All right, set your brakes. We'll have him pull forward a little bit and finish pulling you out. Because your rear wheels are just plowing. We're going to have to get you up here on this gravel. These waders are hot. Boom's all the way down too. There you go. Free spool it. How deep did it get up on the truck? On this side, it was above that step. Above the step? Yeah. So it was about even with the bed on the on the very back. But that was scary for a little bit, wasn't it? You're in a lot better shape now.
I think the sun's trying to peek through. Your boots just almost aren't tall enough. Your boots almo are almost not tall enough. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't drive my truck down here. I'm glad I didn't drive my truck down here. All right, sir. Go ahead and release your brakes again. Okay. All right. Now let's keep them turned this way just a little bit until the back end gets up on the level more. And then we'll have you turn them. Neutral or nothing? Yes, sir. Leave it in neutral, please. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're good now. Turn it. Just There you go. There you go. Just like that. Follow just like you're going to come right up on his back end. One good thing, the water will wash the mud out of your tires. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't never had a bad. I'd be really, really leery of driving it for any length because those wheel bearings, whoa. Go ahead and shut her down. Those wheel bearings and everything have been underwater for a while. Okay. I'd be really, really cautious with that. the company though let them make the call issues a while ago with that sense block. We need to work on that when we get back. Come on, you. What in the world? Well, just leave it for now. Acts like it. Damn. Now there it goes. There it goes. Looks like it spread open, Talon. Looks like it spread open, like somebody used it without tightening it all the way. That's what it acts like. <laughs> yeah, look at it. See how it spread? That's what happens when you don't tighten them all the way and put them under a heavy load. Not good. Lay that one down so we can fix it or replace it.
Call me, make sure you get it out, all right? No? Do what, Talon? get down to Oregon. Okay. Okay. Or just follow him. He's going to take care of you from Thanks, here. Thanks, man. You're life saving. Oh, no problem. I thought I was going to swim out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. You be safe. Okay. Uh, call the company and see what they want yeah, to do. Stop once I get to dry land yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's what I told him. Take you up to dry land and get out of those water. There he goes. Safe and sound for now. Very, very fortunate. Fortunately, he didn't hit that uh, telephone pole or utility line. I'm sorry, not telephone pole, utility line. Anyway, I wouldn't. One word of caution and warning, please, please. Do not drive through flooded waters, especially, especially if you are not familiar with the area. There's a lot of places around here where we have what's called low water bridges, where when the water's up a little bit, there will be an inch or two inches of water over a bridge, over a low creek. And it's common for people to drive over those now if we get a heavy rain like we did last night and there's six inches a foot of water racing across there it'll take a car or even a big truck and sweep it right off that bridge anyhow Successful recovery. Probably going to have to uh, have the wheel bearings and oil and stuff changed in the uh, front hub and rear end. At least I would suggest that to them anyway. If they do, it's up to them, but I would suggest doing that. Just sitting there for that long, it's probably got water in it. which is bad for the bearings, the gears, everything. Oh yeah, water's gone down some. these hot things waiters definitely come in handy Have I used them in this job? If this video makes it to YouTube, most of uh, my viewers will have seen me wearing the waders in other videos. I got room. I'll set them in here rather than up in my cab for now. Let them dry out. Oop. Hello? Hello? 
Do you have any? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have chargers in the computer on that car yet. It just got towed in over the weekend, and I haven't. Uh, I've been on this job, so I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Yeah, uh, it just it just came in over the weekend, and uh, uh, whenever I get back to the shop, I've got several from the weekend to get put in the computer, and then uh, uh, I told Progressive if we had time to get it down there today, uh, we'd get it down there today, and if we got it down there tomorrow, we wouldn't charge them storage because uh, uh, you know if it if we're too busy, it's not their fault that we were too busy to get it down there today, so. I told him there wouldn't be any additional storage if we didn't get it down there till tomorrow and he said that was fine or wasn't any rush, so. All right, huh? All right, yep, bye. I'm gonna take the helmet cam off. That was hot. Looks like I missed a call from Talon. See what's going on there. All right. Bye. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, he is safe in town on dry land on the other side.
across the road here, but it's not as bad as it was when we drove in. I'd hate to think what it looked like when that gentleman got stranded.
safe and sound. Talon should be on his way back. Now to go in and take care of some paperwork. Yay. I'd rather be out doing this. But anyway, as always, thank you for watching. God bless.